Okay, everybody, this is a really off-the-cuff, uh, random whatever video. Uh, <laughs> so we just had the idea for this a couple hours before. Yeah. So bear in mind, uh, yeah, you all know me. I'm David. This is the phenomenal, always awesome. Alex. Alex. Alex Borchardi. <laughs> Borchardi. No, it's Borchard. Be at the start, T at the end, orchard in the middle. It's not that hard. <laughs> I thought it was French and said Borchard. No, but... it's German, man. Good, strong German name. So always remember to tell him, Borchardi Dart. <laughs> Borchardi Dart, fine. <laughs> so uh, we're in on all of this because he asked me to make him a proton pack. For all those that are just tuning in, we're the Ghostbusters of British Columbia. Basically, we love Ghostbusters. And we use that to raise, dress up, which is always fun, and raise money for charity and Absolutely. all of that. Most predominantly, uh, the BC Children's Hospital and Red Cross, all of that. Absolutely, that's our favorites. Yeah, so Alex wanted, he's, he's got his own suit. He asked me for a proton pack. Yeah. Uh, I did him a custom version instead of the standard fiberglass shell for a reason. Sh shall, we go, shall we go through with all the reasons yeah, why? Yeah, yeah, sure. Um, being in a wheelchair, uh, you bump into things, you wreck things a lot, you know, so unfortunately, if it's too tough, I will break it a little bit. So we went with a nice foam stunt pack so that uh, things won't break off and things won't get a little weird. And also, we're working on the Alice frame so that it can, can attach to the back of my wheelchair properly. I mean, we got to figure out how you get the proton pack on your back and not mess around with the back of the wheelchair. Cartoons don't fix that crap. <laughs> <laughs> now, the reason why I went wanted to go with the foam pack, because uh, I've seen this guy, I've seen him <laughs> on his wheelchair. He goes downhills, he does pop-up wheelies, and all of that, and I always worry that if I give him a fiberglass pla pack with aluminum add-ons and all of that, the <laughs> weight of the pack will land him backwards on his ass, and I would feel terribly guilty about that. And I would have to repair that motherfucker <laughs> like hell. Yes, like, you would. You would. <laughs> like hell. So the foam pack he can damage, but at least the weight of it is not going to... Destroy whoop. everything. Yeah, I, I got already too many stitches in the back of my head from doing that stunt. So uh, it, it hurts. It hurts. <laughs> so this has been a long time coming. I started on this thing ages ago, and there's yeah. still a few tiny details that I need to work out, but... Yeah, it's like we're still waiting for the sound pack to come in. The lights just came in, so we got some really good things going with it right now. I'm, it's a work in progress, and I'm proud of that. <laughs> I built him the foam frame a while ago. He went to some conventions with it, but it never looked quite finished. Yeah. But I gave it a hard shell of, what it, what was it, Smooth on 65D, which gives it a thin plastic layer yes. that you can paint, and it looks just a little bit better. Yeah. And he's always had his Maddie wand, so I just needed yes, to hook up course. to that. Yes, of course. You gotta, I mean, it helps when you have a Maddie wand to connect it all up so it looks really good. So, you know, you gotta have some of the stuff. <laughs> all right, for anybody wondering, uh, this is my uh, fiberglass pack that I got, that I got right here. I'll turn the lights on. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I got the sponge face Maddie adapter. This is a Maddie one because it, it, it is really nice. And I'll give sponge face a shout out because he did, did do the adapter to the GB fans lights. So, and I got the volume on the sound turned off really, really low. And, and apparently I forgot to <laughs> connect this. Somehow, I don't, I don't know. Whatever, whatever. Technical whatever, whatever. difficulties from the guy who's supposed to keep us all running. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta love this guy. He can be quiet now. <laughs> you wish. <laughs> I still have his pack, and I haven't given it to him yet. Okay, I'm shutting up now. Just exactly. <laughs> okay. Uh... <laughs> there we go. I there had the switch in the wrong way. <laughs> Switching the wrong way. Okay, okay, okay. I have been drinking a little bit tonight because, eh, whatever, I'm I'm not working tonight or driving, so. <laughs> no Ecto-1 for him. <laughs> Screw you. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, this is what it looks like as a fiberglass pack. 
I forget who it was that built my bumper. This is before I built my own bumper and silicone casted it. I think I got to use my silicone cast and build somebody else. I already built one for Kramer, so it's all cool. And yeah, so whatever. Now, and I made a few customizations because I got like the video game, whatever, video game overheating light and thermal vent. Where is that? Yeah, uh, over overheating light and thermal vent, there you go. and I got the rounded thing. But let's take a look at Alex's pack because it it is a foam pack. Yeah. It is a foam pack with a smooth on sixty five D hard shell. Yeah, which looks very close to this. Now, please bear in mind this is done just to be lightweight and with a wheelchair adaptation. Yeah, exactly. So uh, you know, it's not going to be as heavy. It's not going to be as polished and pristine. But we'll put some serious paint job work into it, and we'll make it look pretty good. I already started. He doesn't. I know. know I know. <laughs> He doesn't know what I've done to this yet. He, ha I have. Yeah, I, know, I get to see this for like the first time. So, I mean, I've seen it foamed up. I've seen it in prop state where there's no lights to it, and you know. So now I get to see all of it. So I'm really happy. There's a few. There's still a few more things that I want to do to this. But uh, uh, you know, oh, oh, and please bear in mind, I, my desk is always a mess. Uh, but whatever. It's the tool shop working on all the props. Of course, it's gonna be a mess. <laughs> what he said <laughs> all right so here it is okay. here is alex's oh, pack it's beautiful it's oh oh wait beautiful. wait wait i'm still i'm still working on this this is the crank knob i'm making you broke my... it already it was never attached <laughs> i'm working on the crank knob i'm gonna i'm gonna cast this for everybody else's pack that i build because eh, whatever I, I make i like to make my own if i can all right, oh. so here is his. Pa oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I just got to Alex. Please, clear, wait, wait, wait. Clear the room. Clear the room. I want to show how light this is. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I can wave this motherfucker <laughs> all over. It's so light. Yeah, it is super light. At what? At most, it's like what? Barely ten pounds. Oh, I'm sorry. It might have gone up because we put on the wheelchair attachment at the bottom. Because that's made out of solid steel. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, when I put on the oh. when I put on the smooth cast fix sixty five D, you got to do it in small thin layers like paint, or else it clumps up. You can sand it with sandpaper, wh which I did after since the last time he saw it, so he doesn't know this yet. Nice. Yeah, yeah. you did really did smooth that out quite nicely. I, I put on oh, beautiful small lightweight metal parts when I can. So, and I just, I just drilled through to slide the tubing through and all of this. I casted some actual things to make some fiberglass additions, so like fiberglass resin. Oh, but, and you attach the metal parts that we picked up at Rona, those little uh, brass yeah. cap ends. Yeah, these things. These yeah. Things. Yeah, and then I just printed labels on metal foil because... Yeah, and I just gave them some clear coat so they could withstand the rain. Remember to uh, apply clear coat once every few months or whatever, because okay. the clear coat does wear out eventually, but this will make it waterproof for the interim. Okay, excellent. Because when you're walking in parades, you can never get the weather right. Yeah. Oh, it's going to be sunny. Pouring buckets. <laughs> Will this show up in the light? I used the angle grinder to cut a metal V hook, which is just a little thin pleat piece of stainless, and everything with some backing so that it will fit on your Matty wand. Nice. That all works. This is not a screen accurate bumper. I made a screen accurate bumper, which I've already got on Kramer's pack. I'll be making another one for uh what's his name uh, vancouver guy's pack because he asked for one but oh, for... okay yeah the new guy new guy not the rookie but the new keith, guy. keith keith yeah keith wants one but for your pack i made an all foam bumper i did give you the screw cap bellows i know originally it's an automobile part bellows I, I just gave you the one inch uh, threaded nipple nice. thing with a washer that's metal. Just <laughs> I because. You said threaded nipple. Well, uh, of course. Without the sexual <laughs> innuendo, where would we be? <laughs> so, are you touching my nipple? <laughs> okay, now you can shut up. All right, yeah, because this is lightweight enough and it still looks. If you're looking on screen to the movie, this looks close enough. Yeah. This is a foam 
clippered. I, I want to get some more aluminum paint to do this proper, but this will hold it up for the convention this weekend. And that's what I'm trying to do, hold it up for this weekend. It still has the uh, foil label on it. I prefer to use modern resistors to it because upgrading between GB1 and GB2, they do upgrade. And this is 30 freaking years later. They're not going to use those black Dale resistors. They'll use the modern brass-like resistors. Oh, I mean, absolutely. You got to modernize it a little bit. <laughs> yeah. So once the crank knob is finished, I'll put it on here, but I, I need to finish casting it first. Yeah. And what Alex has never seen in person before, mm -hmm. I already hooked up the GB fan lights, which are a little different from what I last upgraded. Uh, I already put on a 9-volt battery, and I got the switch right back here underneath here, if I can slide my hand back. Oh, that looks awesome! And this is a horrible oh. shot on my phone because I'm just holding this handheld out from a distance of my hip. Oh, that is beautiful! Oh. Now, what Alex hasn't seen attached, we just went into Rona and grabbed a few things. Let me show you what we made as an attachment. Uh, actually, 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 before I do this, Alex likes to think of himself as a badass. And he is... <laughs> Thanks. He is. I'll hand this to him. He is a badass. I just like to periodically bump him down a notch because I think his ego gets a little too high. He is a badass. That is true. That is that, that is true. Yes, absolutely. So what I gotta say is his wheelchair is not atypical. No, no, no. This is this is Marv, my tag team partner in crime. Why do you call him Marv? Because he was named after the Sin City character Marv, of course, if you've seen the movies. And uh, after reading the comics, yeah, that dude can go through a lot of crap and all it takes is a band-aid to fix him. After you see the pack, you'll figure out why he's called Marv. Because we went into Rona and got a band-aid to fix him. <laughs> you, you see, you see... After knowing Alex, I hate the fact that a lot of wheelchairs are made out of aluminum because aluminum is a soft metal that always bends, distorts. It's lightweight, but you'll destroy it, especially oh, on yeah. a wheelchair. Now, at Marv... Curbs kill wheelchairs, and I've done it. <laughs> Marv is not your typical wheelchair, by, by all means. Nope. <laughs> I've met Marv, and I've seen him get a few upgrades. <laughs> Marv's right here. <laughs> Marv has taken a shit kicking. Yeah, I can drop him off of foot and a half, two foot concrete drops and survive. <laughs> if I may show something. Oh, yeah, go ahead. There, Marv has one upgrade that I really like because I hate fucking aluminum on wheelchairs because... One time I took my, I didn't have time, so I took my car in for a tune-up and in the garage there was another guy with a mechanical wheelchair and the mechanics in the tune-up shop were on the phone trying to find a spare set of wheels because nobody had the standardized parts. And yep. it's like, come on. <laughs> when you have to go to a bike shop to fix your wheelchair, it's okay, but they don't always got the parts. <laughs> and that's what I don't like. This is a necessity. How can you not use standardized parts? It makes it more expensive and and it, it's fucking aluminum. It breaks down like crap. Yes. Yes, I have bent too many wheelchairs. <laughs> now, you justified aluminum in one regard. Did you want to go through that again? Well, the fact that, uh, you know, it is lightweight, it's small, the fact that if it's made into a, a square or rectangular uh, tube setup, it is really strong. The frame of my chair has never bent because of the way they built it, but it still is aluminum. So there's a lot of other pieces that tend to break and, you know, warp a little bit, like my backrest. <laughs> <laughs> it's not just his backrest. No, he's not no, listing no. everything. What's impressed me about it, what I'm glad he's replaced, is his front wheels. And now he's talking about his bearings. Too many of these aluminum pieces yes, bend destroying themselves. and break. It's lightweight, <laughs> which is good for beginners. Oh, oh, okay. You explained this to me once. Why, why don't you run a mechanical wheelchair? Oh, okay. Because... Uh, a long time ago, I believed that uh, if you become too complacent, you will just lose your ability to move. Everyone's watched WALL-E. Everyone's seen what happens to those people. I will get an electric wheelchair 
when everything else fails me. Until then, I'm going to keep pushing my ass off, keep working on the guns, and, uh, <laughs> well, come on, got to make the, got to make the proton wand look oh, awesome. Oh, yeah, 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 that's you his know. latest hat, that's his latest hat, I love it, Doug. Quickly, within two seconds, describe what you want to do with this beautiful Oh, it's monster. a proton wand going all the way down my arm, and it's, I'm going to get the proton stream going all the way down here, and I'll, actually, I'm going to go all the way to the back of my hand, too, and, uh, it's all going to be black light sensitive, so it will glow, it will glow. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Well. Yeah, but that's gonna be that's coming up next month. Okay. Now, where were you going with Marv? Yeah, have you basically finished? Well, yeah, we've got the we've got the rims. I didn't bring the rims tonight, but we will have. I have a full set of rims that cover this up. That looks like uh, Ghostbuster rims. And then, of course, as you can see, uh, I've got my front end all Let done up in aluminum. Frame. But as you can see, I even grabbed red wheels for this, so I've got the nice little can matching. Can I get that in Frank? Can I get that in Frank? Yeah, there you go. There it is. Way down there. Yeah, what yep. what I remember with his old frames when they got bashed oh, yeah, this to piece. shit. L let me get this in camera. I'm sorry. Yeah, there we go. I'm there you go. Cool. I remember when there, he got this, and what impressed what impressed me about this is that this is actually fucking real metal that won't bend. Yes, it's so worth it. And these are <laughs> off the shelf wheels that you can replace should they ever get damaged. Yeah, like fifteen, twenty bucks. That's it's, it. <laughs> it's not a thousand dollars to replace some wheels. Yeah, because the last ones that I broke were like eight seventy five or something. No, I didn't want to pay that. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> come on. How can you not make it this easy? I mean, yeah, exactly. And this, that's the most durable front end I've ever seen. This makes sense. <laughs> it makes sense. Make it durable, motherfucker. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It just has to be. Okay. Yes, absolutely. So now... I'm, I was talking about the back end. We're doing it exactly the same way because, as you can oh, see, oh, look oh, at this. Okay, okay, yeah. This look is, at this. This is currently aluminum. This is currently yeah, aluminum. Yeah, I, I totally split the aluminum at the back, so now my backrest is too uh, wobbly. So Ooh. now we're gonna try and fix that. We, we went into Rona. We picked. We picked up. What was it? A half inch. A half inch nipple that slides in, and a little bit of a reducer. Now I'm not nipple. perfectly. No, 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 no. <laughs> the nipple we we got it screwed into, but the actual screwed the nipple. The, the nipple the nipple slides into here yep and don't read into anything in that motion <laughs> and we had, we threaded the nipple onto a reducer because if you if you slide your wheelchair open yeah yeah sure sure let's hope the lighting is good on this yeah. let me line this up with the camera there we go that's the little metal yeah. piece that will hold my back the reducer will slide onto this now we're doing that as a quick fix to the regular back of his chair yeah and because he doesn't want to wear uh, his pack with the Alice frame uh, all the time at a con, we may, and to make, take advantage of the fact that he's got a wheelchair that can carry the weight for him. Exactly. We made the adapter for his chair. That, my friends, is why we made his pack out of foam. Because if he had a fiberglass pack on this, I always worry that it would <laughs> tilt the back of his pack and land him on his ass and I'd have to fix his pack. Yes, I would absolutely crush it. And the doctor would have to fix his back. <laughs> well, I, th I think the scoliosis has done enough, but we'll, we'll try some more. <laughs> You got it. <laughs> Quick intermission, I need a drink. Okay, you go get yourself a drink. Get, I already got it right here, I'm okay. prepared. Okay, go ahead there, Rick, just. <laughs> I'm not that brilliant. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. All right. Now, he's, oh, by the way, did you bring your Maddie one? No, I didn't bring my Maddie one. Oh, okay, one. okay. I, I've got well, it ready packed. I, I got mine, I got mine, I got okay, mine. Okay, cool. All right. So quickly, let's quickly lop this on. Now, uh, okay, I'll take the back off to show. Old right, right, right. Back. His, his back slides off. I don't know how that camera B lines up. <laughs> don't worry. The commentary is good enough. Yes. Now, um, this Alice frame was a knockoff. Gary had it from one of his first packs that he just bought off of somebody else. This Alice frame started to bend and distort, and this metal fr metal frame right here snaps. I taped it off. He had a spare Alice frame, so I popped that onto his pack, and he just gave up this one. He just wanted the kidney pat belt or whatever on it, and... So thank you, Gary! Thank you! I'm pretty sure he says you're welcome. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, Alex doesn't even need this because this is just going to be sitting on. 
we got the straps here because they look cool and oh 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 and i can wear them for certain pictures that i want to and then when i don't want to i can still let them sit on the chair and i can do whatever it, i need if to. you do wear them loosen up they're as tight as hell right oh, now of course of course we had them super tight because they were going on the back of the chair last time not actually on my shoulders because <laughs> we don't want them tagging into the wheels yeah exactly exactly and that was what was happening the sides were rubbing and we did a little i did a little bit of damage to the bottom of my proton pack when i wore it last time so we got to fix that <laughs> I'll go over that. <laughs> I damaged the proton back. No! He treats this lightly. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, a yeah. quick thing from our last convention. Now that the spirit packs are out, a lot of people in the, gen in the general public are going out with spirit packs. If you've got spirit packs for people that are just coming up to your booth and you need to slap them onto something for your charity or whatever, fundraising things, put your name on your pack because you can't tell the difference anymore. Yes, all of our packs are named. We uh, Mine's got my name on the back of it right there. And everyone else has their names on it as well, so... Yeah, that's how you actually spell board chart if you want to fake him with credit cards or whatever. <laughs> well, thank you. You're welcome anytime. <laughs> Now, uh, for the pack adapter, we said that we bought uh, a nipple and a reducer. So I bolted this to his motherboard. Oh, by the way, this motherboard was meant to be lightweight. Uh, for other people's packs, I've been just buying aluminum motherboards from Chibi Fans, which is always good. For his, I just took one of those aluminum motherboards and I traced it onto signboard, which was a Peter Push idea because it works, works great on your Ecto-1 for that big uh, white box thing. It's lightweight. It's basically, signboard is basically thin uh, films of aluminum sandwich with plastic and all of that. It's great and it works for this. And considering that we're using a lightweight foam pack with a pa plastic sheath uh, coating or whatever, it works good. So now... This is the reducer that's going to fit onto Alex's wheelchair, and it's propped up on this uh, half-inch by six-inch in length nipple. So let's give that a shot. Oh, and here's the, act here's the actual switch for his GB fan electronics with whatever, a 9-volt battery. Who cares? It's dollar store stuff. It's all cheap. <laughs> we'll find a way to make it look good later. We need it to work look good later it looks good now <laughs> screw no, you no i agree it looks good now but come on with all props we'll find a little battery pack for it later forget that oh you mean the housing work. for the battery pack yeah, yeah of course we can hide that later we'll just make sure it works uh, all right all right all right <laughs> okay alex your the back of your chair is off yeah i took it off so we got the back off we're just gonna sit right there Okay, let me line this up. I want to see this. I want to see this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See? I can't see shit. <laughs> okay, well, then let me work on it a little bit. There we go. There's the there's the lineup, and there we got the new Alice frame. Now, you, and now Alex said that his friend was going to come up with a proper uh, coupling for this, because this is a little too loose as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, it we, is. We didn't get the proper sizing for this. We couldn't. I'm not completely happy with this. Maybe I want to swap this reducer out with the coupling. Yeah. I'm not sure, but... Hey, for the time being, it works. It's super durable. Uh, right now, our plan is to go with uh, pipe, uh, with uh, plumber's tape and see whether we can fill in the inside of it and make it a little more rubberized. So, for as the time being, I will have to... Let me give this back to you. Let oh, me wait, wait, no. Let me take my Maddie one and hook it up to your... Okay, okay. Well, let me move out of the way then. Let's yeah, see you... how well that's... I'm trying to see how well this is moving, because as you can see, that's really wobbly down there. But, if it locks that's into place... <laughs> okay, okay. All right. Be okay, nice. that's not too bad. Nice that's to actually up Be nice at the camera. High. These people aren't working on gravel right now. No, oh, yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> I think we might need a smaller nipple. <laughs> Probably, in all honesty. Okay, Alex, do you want to sit nice as if you're running, wearing your pack at a con? Yeah, that's what I was going to try and do. That's what I'm going to work on. No, no, no. no just oh, if I was just, oh, if I was just sitting. Okay, yeah, I think we, yeah. Need, I think we need to add a 45 nipple to that this is the first test on yeah that. we got to do tests for this because this is this is what would actually happen to a wheelchair when you put a pack on it okay do you <laughs> want to face that wall so that i can sure. see you from behind yeah that tells me we need to add a 45. okay now what i'm gonna do because is that this... pack is totally angled towards me right yeah, now yeah yeah so what i was gonna do because it it comes down a lot because i'm sitting because i have a shock absorber underneath but let me see if i can if this pack was sitting straight up 
well, it would what I mean be like to... that and it would look so much better, which we yeah. really need to adjust that adapter. Okay, hold on. Yeah, well, we'll adjust the adapter, but let me try something else as well. I'm going to actually put the straps on and see whether that pulls it, if I put it onto my shoulders, whether that pulls it more forward. I know it's up a little high, but that's the whole point, is because if we put it down too low, I will bounce and it will break on the ground. So. Now, the reason why Alex broke his pack before was because he had these straps sitting on the back of his chair when he had it. Yeah. And the beautiful, wonderful end filter kept hitting the ground and As started you getting the all damage. these. No, I painted over that. I know it you started... painted over it, but it's not. it was a smooth cap at one time. You could see the little chip at the bottom. No, you can't yet. Not in nah. this light. But see, now that I have it strapped to my shoulders, I know it's a little far forward, but how is that looking? That's looking fucking badass, dude. Because I can still roll around, and I've got control with it. I'll have my gloves on, I'll have the suit on. But there we finally go, and I actually have a... I do have a backrest, it, because it's uh, cinched right into my shoulders. Now, you wanted your pa your wand mounted completely vertically before, yeah. which I fulfilled on your request. I, I normally Yeah, because like I can them. still grab it from here. I like to put my wands on an angle, but uh, you requested vertical. Yeah, because it needs to, if it's on a bit of an angle, sometimes if you fall too far forward, too far back, it just slips right off. So with it being vertical for me, I still have it perfect. No, I'm just gonna. This is the first time you're doing you'll this. You'll need so. me. You'll need me. Okay, I think. No, let me see if I can get it. If you can, if you can, I'll be amazed. I'll be fucking amazed. Oh uh, no, I'm seeing the. I'm seeing the edge of the frame. I'm not actually seeing All the. All right, grip. I'll help you out. I'll help yeah, you. see, you need some help from your teammates, man. There you go. Okay, yeah. See, I was seeing the edge of the the edge of the frame here. I wasn't exactly seeing where the Common lock was. problem. Yeah. Everybody's got that issue. Okay. Oh, all Ghostbusters have that issue? They can't handle their wands? <laughs> <laughs> Ghost so, busting, yeah. ghost busting, never bust alone. It's a tag team sport. Yeah, never bust alone. Yeah, right. <laughs> but yeah, see, that already fits better. It already feels good. I mean, I've got some movement to it. so it, As I Evelyn not... 13 says, busting makes me feel good. <laughs> yup. Do another spin. Do another spin. Yeah, sure, sure. Let's see. Let's see if I can... Oh, yeah, I got full control. I can do wheelies, too, so I got no problem getting over curves and whatnot. Yeah, this is feeling great. All right, I like I, this. I know what your answer is going to be. Now, why did you get into busting? Why did I get into busting? Okay, well, first of all, I'll go through the standard numbers, which is I liked Ghost, I liked The Afterlife, and the, two for, the first two movies were awesome. But what cinched it for me was the extreme Ghostbusters. Garrett Miller is my dude. And I wish that more things would be done with him, including comic book storylines, a little bit more TV, and Dear Diamond Select, please make the first Garrett Miller action figure, not just some prop that we never get to see or ever hear about. Please make Garrett Miller. I am, f I am one of the few that fights for the wheelchair Ghostbuster, so please. Please bring some more Garrett Miller to my life. Well, that doesn't date this YouTube video. <laughs> of course not, but, you know, it dates me. <laughs> all right, as with all proton packs, this proton pack's not done. Uh, like, I still got to do the crank knob. I still yep. got to do the bottom fitting here with the little yellow wire, wire and add this uh, resistor and stuff like that. So, And I got to change the color of the paint on this foam clippered yeah and, and all of that but you get the point yeah it's fitting really well it's uh, nice and locked in i mean that feels real secure that's quite the that's quite the pack upgrade i really like it thank you i still got a few changes to the mount that i want to make but yeah, yeah of course of course you gotta work on that but you know everything comes in stages we've got like what is it uh three days until the con so I've, i got something that'll work and then after con we'll keep upgrading on it until well whenever our next uh charity event is <laughs> but uh, this is feeling great i feel i feel good all right mm -mm 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 -mm. and remember uh, <laughs> always remember the phenomenal alex bashardi dart bashardi dart <laughs> I'm Bichardi, keep... Bichardi handy dart. That's even better. <laughs> I'm going to keep bugging him about that. You go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and uh, yeah, we are working on the web series, which he might make an actual appearance in. What? No, 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 not me, not me. Season two, maybe. No. 
That's uh, the thing. No, it's supposed to know it's. We were talking about it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you guys rock your world. Have fun. I'll see you guys later. Absolutely. Thank you very much for watching. And look at this. Pretty cool, huh? Look at the stuff this guy can do for setup. Gotta love it. <laughs> Check you guys later.